Shalom, Yasharala. Before we go into this lesson, we give all honor and all glory and all praises to Yahweh, Sokal, Halal, Yam, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweshai, Bahasham, Kakwadash. Get the one of the apostles and prophets and elders of James Khan, but now it's great milestone for the bring for the hundred percent children have been currently edified under. Now we go into the continuation of um, um, Adam and Eve creation story. We're continuing from Genesis chapter 1 to Genesis chapter 5. And of course, that will help you get more understanding as to what the scripture is actually referring to because we know the scriptures these are what parabolic talks, metaphors, simile, similitudes, um, dark sins, allegories. There's so much things that we have to get the understanding of, which is why it's important to not read it verbatim but to read it with understanding, just as the scripture says in um, Ecclesiasticus chapter. Um, chapter 1 and verse 1 I get straight to the point where it says um, when he had given himself to the reading of the law and the prophets and the other books of our fathers and had gotten there in good judgment um, good judgment says was drawn unto him also to write something pertaining to learning and wisdom and, and to the intent that those which are desirous to learn and are addicted to these things might profit much more in living according to the law as you go forward it says wherefore listen to this point point and point taken and keep and learn learn this point wherefore let me entreat you to read it with favor and attention and to pardon us where we may seem to come short of some words which we have labored to interpret you see that so far for the same thing uttered in Hebrews and translated into another tongue have not the same force in them. And not only do these things, but the law itself and the prophets and the rest of the books have some small have no small difference, which they have spoken in their own languages. So we see in, in order for we to do, to get the understanding which they said, we must get the definitions, the root etymology, because of the changes in the translation carrying a different meaning. That's why it's, it's important to go into your words. So let's carry on into Genesis chapter 1. Um, chapter 3, Salakia. And verse 1, which I was going into, like go back, which the brothers on the live did a yapper breakdown on, but still can continue to proceed to um, make a lesson out of it and then still do a part 2 on TikTok when I get the chance again. It says, just chapter 3 and verses 1, it says, Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field, which Yahweh had made. Yahweh power had made. It says, And he said unto the woman, Yea, had the Most High said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden you hear that now we see he shall not eat of every tree of the garden and i continue in verse 2 and 3 it says and the woman said unto the serpent we may eat of the fruit trees of the fruit of the trees of the garden but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden so we see in and so we see in a separation of that um, thing but we have to understand it's all parabolic that's why the bible is written to concrete the understanding so that the elect can receive that it's not given for everyone to receive as it should. And this is how the Most High wired it to happen from then to now. Showing you that, hey, as the scriptures say, he had declared his will. Um, the, um, declaring his will. Uh, what he says? Declaring the end from the beginning of his paraphrasing. He had declared the end from the beginning. And he made sure to set out these things so that it is evident that it shows that and that his will shall come to pass. So let's continue. Let's go on to the um let, let read the serpent because we did a lesson, but let's go over it again. Just for those who are newcomers and new list, new listeners. In Genesis chapter 3 and verses 1, the serpent, it says, um, it says, uh, when it of course going to the root etymology, it has it the actual translation, Nahash. No, oh my God. Strong's says, H5175. Nahash. Nahash. 
No, so it directs you to what? H5172. Let's go into that. Strong's H5172. Nachesh. 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 Different pronunciation. Totally different word. Um, different meaning. But, let's, but same word, but let's continue. It says what? To practice divination, divine, observe, ta, observe signs, learn by experience, diligently observe, practice fortune telling, take as an omen. We are seeing these points. These are what? These are the characteristics of what? Witchcraft. A person performing or practicing witchcraft. Let's continue. To practice divination, observe signs and omens. Enchanter. See that? Enchanter. Magic. Spell. Whisper. Uh, whisper a magic spell. A magic or a spell. These are, these are witches and warlocks practicing, performing witchcraft. So as you go on to the characteristics which was given, he was wise because he was able to mislead Eve to believe his doctrine. Let's go into um, that word um, subtle, which we already know crafty, but let's go into it just for, um, on this, to concrete the understanding as to it's an actual person because we know a serpent don't possess the physical um, capabilities to, 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 to even call or, or demonstrate any form of witchcraft because they were not given that authority to do so. They are simple snakes. So it's not referring to an actual snake. Let's continue. Right? Strong's H, 6175. Arum. 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 Right? As you see it here, even in Aram, which, same thing, crafty, subtle, crafty, shroud, I'm a shrewd, slack here, prudent. Even when they go back into the um the essence, it says out loud biblical usage, subtle, shrewd, crafty, sly, sensible. So in this in this context and understanding, this serpent would have represented a person. Right? It would have represented a, a human being, right? A man in understanding. That serpent. Is what misled um, Eve. And that serpent is, is, is also one of the beasts of the field. That's why it says what? Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field. Which we can go into again. To even um, measure up more of the understanding onto you. Like we did before. We go into the... Uh, we're just going to go to two, two precepts. Or three precepts this time. I went to four or five I believe. But we're just going to some, sh some shorter ones to make it simpler. Let me grab... I'm going to next up to grab um, Ecclesi... Ecclesiastes, not Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, and verses 18, where it says this. It says, I said in mine heart concerning the estate of the sons of men, that the, that the Most High might manifest them, that they might see that they themselves are beasts. Why is that? Because according to the, um, to, as you go back into the previous lesson, Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7, what? Only Adam that was created of the other people, of all the people, Adam was given that breath of life, that wisdom, that knowledge, and that understanding, that breath of the power of Yahweh Bashem El Shai. According to scriptures, all these I say here is biblical. That's why I made the title on the life to the law to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it's because there's no light in them. And if you can't, can't have that understanding after going to the words itself to get the understanding and, 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 and um, linking it with scripture, precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little and there a little, you will not have the understanding. Understand? So, let me read it again. It says, I said in mine heart concerning the estate of the sons, sons of men, that the most I might manifest them that they might see that they themselves are beasts. Why? Because they are without wisdom and understanding. They are without the knowledge. That's why when they go into Psalm chapter 73, it says, Psalm 73 and, and, and 22, it says, um, it says, so foolish was I, and so foolish was I, and ignorant, I was like a beast I was like a beast before thee. You understand? I was like a beast before thee. 
He was referring to himself as what the other nations, or even a beast without without wisdom, without knowledge. He was foolish, even when they go into um. Let me read. Let me read this here. Psalm chapter forty nine, which we went into before. Let me grab it again. Chapter forty nine and twenty. It says this. It says, "Man that is in honor and understandeth not is like a beast that perish." You understand not. You don't have any understanding. You weren't given it. So you are like a beast of the field. You see the difference? That's the understanding of the beast. Those that are, that, that are without wisdom, knowledge and understanding. Or as we know as that breath of life. Without the sayings of Yahweh Hashem Oshai, without the commandments, without knowing what the commandments are to keep it, you are literally spirit. You are, I can't even call it dead. I call it, with, I call it without a soul. <laughs> you understand? So let me, let me move on. Um, Genesis chapter 2. Um, well, let me address the trees. Let me address the trees. Because when you go into um, a good example that is in, as I did before, Isaiah 61. Try to remember the precept, this one. Uh, right, right here, verses 3. It says, to, um, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes and the oil of joy for mourning. It says the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called, listen to it, trees of righteousness. The planting of Yahweh that he might be glorified. This is talking about what people and again, that's why when you go into Mark chapter 8 and verses 24, guess what it concretely says? When the um, Yahweh Shai carried the man out of the city and spat and cured his eyes, and what he said, and he looked up and said, I see men as trees walking. It's referring to nations of people, people itself. It's not actual trees. That's why it's a, it's, the Bible is full of parables. And it's full of dark saints. It's full of stories to concrete our understanding as to what actually took place. It's giving understanding. But when you go into the depth of the scriptures, you would understand what actually took place. You can't read the Bible verbatim and expect not to have understanding. That's impossible. So let's continue. And um, so the trees, I'm um, going back to Genesis chapter. Let me grab it. Genesis chapter, uh, Genesis chapter three, and verse one and two and three, um, is referring to what? Is referring to nations, other other pe other nations of people or people itself. And and we did that in Genesis already, chapter one and verse twenty six. I just want to outline it before you continue, right? Which match up with scriptures to the Lord to the testimony. You see a separation in creation. One is what? And, and the powers, which is not speaking about the heavenly father, Yahweh, the powers said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fishes of the air, of the sea, Salakia, and over the fowls of the air, fishes of the air, Salakia for that, and over the fowls of the air, and over the cattle, and over, air, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. One form of creation. Where it goes on in 27 to say, and the powers created man in his own image and in his own um, and in the image of the most high, created he him, male and female created he them. Now, when you go into that word, like we did multiple times, as simple, short, sweet, right? Into that word God. 
when they go into it, what it says in, in the um, is Allah Hayam, which is her tra the, the proper translation for this um, Yiddish Hebrew, because we know the true Hebrew is the Lashon and Kadash, the Holy Tongue, the Paleo Hebrews. So, in other words, it will be referred to as Allah Hayam, and in this definition, we see it as plural, which means what? Rulers, judges, divine ones, angels, and powers, and gods, which is powers, right? It's referring to what? Yahweh Shai and the angels. And then when you go into verse 2, which it shows separation and creation, which you can get in Ecclesiastes and second edges as well. Let me, let, me, let me show it here. And Yahweh power, a different definition, a different name, is a difference in creation. Two separate. Which we see here goes back to a Jehovah, which we know when they do the breakdown, his name is Yahweh. Not Jehovah. Because you know J wasn't invented uh, up until 1524. Um, which um, when the sixteen hundreds, roughly paraphrasing, roughly uh, with rough understanding, by and these these vowel points as well was created when from who, um, Yaha, um, so like a Rabbi Ben Yahudi, who actually brought in these vowel points and 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 a lot of these letters that we see today is shown that is what a corrupted language. So the true language will go back to what the Paleo Hebrews, the ancient Hebrews, the Lashon and Kadash, which we spoke which is our heritage. So, Yahweh, as seen in separation of definition, is his name. And as we see, um, right here, it even shows the difference between who is he referring to when he says Lord, which is, as we know, is Jehovah. It also shows God, but in capital letters, all caps. And then we have Jehovah. Right, right, understand coming from? You don't see variant here, but it's Jehovah, is Lord, and is God in all caps. This is a separation of his name via the Allah Hayams. So let me grab it again. And the uh, and Yahweh power formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Now, when you go into which you already see separation. Now, before we go into the breath, let's go into the let's go into second edges to see even show the same separation which we see in here because you see it pl more plainly when you read second edges. It says second edges chapter three and verse four. It says, "O Yahweh, who bearest rule, thou spakest at the beginning when thou didst plant the earth, and that thyself alone." It says here it says, "And commandest the people." That's number one. Commandest the people. Point two. And gave us a body unto Adam without a soul. Now, when you go into the scriptures, that soul will be representing um, no understanding, no wisdom. Before you continue, let me read it. And gave, us, uh, and gave us a body unto Adam without wisdom, with such the workmanship of thine hands, and didst breathe into, this, into him the breath of life, and he was made living before thee. That breath and that soul, um, the soul is represent, uh, representative of what? Um, uh, sorry, without soul, representative of without wisdom, without the wisdom that is given. Now, what the scriptures say in, in Genesis chapter um, 2 and 7, and he breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, that wisdom and understanding, and man became a living soul. Um, so when you, let me grab, I think I should do this, let me see, the souls after. Let me do the, let me do this. Mm, let me do the soul first. When you go into Proverbs, let me see if I get an next app. Let me grab an next app for this. I'm gonna grab an next app for this. I'll grab this one. This might help my boy. Proverbs chapter 19. I we'll have it here. Chapter 19 and verse 16. It says this. It says, He that keepeth the commandment keepeth his soul. See? So if you were born, if you were created, and you weren't given the wisdom, you would be without a soul. Why is that? Because what John say? Let me see if I grab that. Oh, my had again next up. Shucks. I think I have my next up here. Um, 
Then we got this one. We got using for ops today. We using, using for ops today. <laughs> John chapter, um, I believe it's chapter. Um, this is, chapter. John chapter. Let me go down. Chapter 6 and 63, where it says this. Oh gosh. Come on, go down. I make, a, I make an error, I press the wrong thing. 63, where it says, It is the spirit that quickeneth, it says, the flesh that profited nothing. It says, The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Now, what is this word he's talking about? And we know it's the scriptures, but let me go into it a little bit more where it says this. Um, John chapter 12 and verse 50. Let me get straight to the, to the point. Okay. Is the word of Yahweh Bashim of Yahweh Bashim is the word of Yahweh Salakia? It says, For I have not spoken of myself, but the Father which sent me, he gave me an, a commandment which I should say and what I should speak. And verse 50, and I knew that this commandment is life everlasting. It says, Whatsoever I speak, therefore, even as the Father am said unto me and speak also so this is referring to the commandment which is life his commandments so you see so you see so when you go back when it says Proverbs chapter 19 and verse 16 he that keepeth his commandment keepeth his soul but he that despiseth his ways shall die because when you go into even to the apocrypha it says in baruch um We'll grab it before we go back into this. Um, chapter 4 and verse 1. It says as clear as possible. The, this is the book of the commandments of the of the most high and the law of and the law that endured forever. See? And they that keep it shall live, shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Understand? That is scripture. Say what? The, the, his commandments are spirit and they are life. Showing you what the breath of life truly is. Showing you what the spirits need to, to, to inquire in order to be living. <laughs> you understand where I'm from? Because without that, without that wisdom, ye shall surely die. Scripture said the wages of sin is dead, but the gift of God is eternal life through Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. So let's like grab um, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7 and verse 24, where it says this. It says, her wisdom is more moving than any motion. She passeth and goeth through um, all things by reason of her pureness. And verse 25, she, um, for she is the breath of the power of the Most High and a pure influence. Now, I know you hear what I say. I read, it, I read it so I can go back into it. And a pure influence in flowing from the glory of the Almighty that um, therefore can no defaulting fall into her. So you see where it says what? For she is the breath of the influence of Yahweh. The breath of life. That way the scriptures even said what? The commandments is spirit. And it is life. And the commandment, in, even in John says, is life everlasting. This is that breath that, that Adam received. Being able to envelop, so like develop that spirit in him. He now has a purpose. A proper purpose, which is to serve Yahweh Shai. By what? The ways of his commandments. Scripture said, thy law is that is the truth. So he gained that truth, the wisdom, to serve Yahweh Shai and to govern this earth. Because he was what? Was created, um, was made Lord of all thy creatures. I just want to make sure and clarify before I go back in and just chapter three um um three. So we understanding here. Separation in creation. One was given the breath, one was without. Therefore, guess what? Because they were out, they would do things cunning and crafty like this, which is why the scriptures refer to them as what? A serpent. 
They practice divination. They practice what they the enchanters, enchantments, witchcraft. That was their that was their plot. That, that was what that was their form of wisdom. Scriptures say wisdom of the of this world is foolishness with her mashiach, with, your, with, with the most high so like, yeah. So now we understand more moreover what is representing here. That beast is referring to the other nation that is without the wisdom. That wasn't given that wisdom. It was amongst Adam. We just prove it. Let's continue. It says, um, dealing with, let me, I said I was going to deal with the eat. So like here for, for, um, for not, um, I deal with the trees, but so like I'm not dealing with the eat. Right? Let me read Genesis chapter 2 again. And now we're going to 3. We will deal with the eat. And then we will deal with what? The fruit. What was that apple? <laughs> that apple that the Christian like to talk about. The apple. Let's go into it. Um, let me make sure I record this. All right. Let's go into it. Um, Genesis chapter 3 and verse 2. It says, And wisdom said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. And verse 3. Oh, let me go on. I can't tell you. Go into it now. And verse 3. But the fruits of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, the Most High said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And this is a very strong precept. But let us go into the um, we let us go into that, that word eat, as you saw in verse 2 and 3. Before we continue with understanding. When you're going to Ezekiel, which is a perfect example, um, and on the life will have even more precepts. The life should have even more precepts to break down that word eat because Abaniah and um, should be told also came in and brought in some precepts and, and, and gave a good understanding as to what that serpent is referring to in, um, originally because it even goes into what revelation. Showing you who that old serpent represents, the serpent from the beginning. If you all have the spirit to receive it, of course, and a lesson for, uh, uh, I mean, it's, uh, that should be a, a next lesson I might have to do on live as well. But um, let me go into it. Ezekiel chapter 2 and verse 8. Let me grab the next precept. Let me grab the next um, thing. Um, yeah, well, I'm going to grab it in this one. Ezekiel 2. And verse 8, like get straight to the point. You understand? Straight to the point. It says, not, mm. Right, let me, let me, from 8, and I'll read from 8 to 5 in the next, um, 5 next chapter. It says, Ezekiel 2 and 8. It says, But thou, son of man, hear what I say unto thee. Be not thou rebellious like, the, like that rebellious house. Open thy mouth and eat that I gave thee. See? Now, what is he talking about? Let's read and find out. And when I looked, behold, an hand was sent unto me, and lo, a roll of a book was therein. That book there represents the truth, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that was passed on to Ezekiel to warn the children of Yasharal and tell them the errors of their ways. Which you can continue reading. It says, And he spread it before me, and it was written within and without. And there was written there in lamentations and mourning and woe, which is destruction. As you go on in Ezekiel chapter 3, it says, And moreover he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this roll, and go and speak unto the house of Israel. You see? So I opened my mouth. And he caused me to eat that roll. <coughs> so that you see, so he and he, let me read it. And he caused them. Let me read it over. And I, so I opened my mouth, and he caused me to eat that roll. And he said unto me, Son of man. Cause thy um it says cause thy belly to eat and fill thy bowels with this roll that I gave thee, which is that wisdom, the truth, so that he could pass on to the children of Israel. 
It says um, that I gave thee. Then did I eat it, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. And it continues, it says, And he said unto me, Son of man, go to get thee unto the house of Israel, and speak with my and speak with my words unto them. You see, and this is what it's talking about too. Um, this is was that eat what what they were that eating was. They were eating what they were they were they were he um they were being given being taught being able to receive the wisdom and understanding. It's not talking about actual eating a fruit. It's not talking about actually eating a fruit. Whenever you think about it. Boy. <coughs> yeah, so I care for that. Right? So let me go back into Genesis. But uh, no, uh, I don't know. Hmm. Real itchy ears thing, but <laughs> um <coughs> so like you again, my apologies. Right, so let me go back. So this, as we see here, when you go back into, um, it says, we may not, we may eat of the fruit of the tree of the garden. This, in understanding, represents the wisdom that was taught, the true 100%, the, the one doctrine that the Most High gave unto them. That one understanding that was given unto them. That is why Abel was able to what? Keep the um the laws correctly, the offerings correctly. When Cain was not, which was even mentioned in the in the, um as example in the live, which you could, that should that should um urge you all to go and le learn more in the live. I know I was a little harsh. I probably might have been a little haste in the live, but more I do the lives, the more I'm able to eventually control the way I I say things because sometimes I would have a slip of slip of the tongue. Some things I might even want to say and I end up saying it. So I had to say Salakia for that. It's all like I said, we new into this, and I, I want I, I really, really, really. I tell you, I tell you something. This is not me just boasting and saying this. But I would rather be of service to Yahweh than to be anything on this earth. That is the truth. So let's continue. So as you see, the trees represent what the other nations that were created, right? And that's why it says what, but but if the fruit, but if the but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, the most high said, ye shall not eat, which is what? Learn, partake of their doctrines, of their understandings, of their ways. That is what it's talking about. That which is why and, and to, to make it to solidify it even more, let you grab wisdom of Solomon chapter 14 and verses 27, where it says this. I'm um the ark learn my uh, learn my. <laughs> oh gosh, hey, my words yes. Um, the ark taught me a, a precept. So I'm glad I can bring it up before I bring it out. Wisdom of Solomon 14 and verses 12. It says, For the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication and, and the invention of them in the corruption of life. See? So as and as you go further, that what the scriptures say in first Samuel. Let me see if I, let me go ahead and explain. In first Samuel chapter 15 and verse 23. It says this: For the rebellion, for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. And stubbornness is as iniquity of idolatry. Because thou hast rejected the word of Yahweh, he had also rejected thee from um, being king. Understand? Rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. And that was the first form of rebellion. Eve knowing right from wrong and not just being misled, in, but accepting the, the, the deception. Accepting the deception. So let me go back into it. Um, when you go back, like, and when you go into verse 27, 
Same um, with the Solomon chapter 14 and verse 27, it says straight to the point. It says, for the, for the worshipping of idols not to be named is the beginning, the cause, and the end of all evil. And like I said in the live, that's why I want to bring it out too, because we're going to see it regardless, so I might as well bring it out. And this is why the Most High made that commandment to be first in Exodus chapter 20. Look what you go and grab. Exodus chapter 20 and verses what? 3. It says, Thou shalt not have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. It says, Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, for, it, for I, Yahweh, thy power, am a jealous power, visiting the iniquities of the, of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation, for them that hate me. And I'm going into what? Re regeneration. But you're seeing here, he is making sure in three, in three um, precepts in Exodus to identify what the first commandment shall not flick and do at all. Why is that? Because that was, as we, said, as we read, was the first, it was the beginning and cause and end of the evil. That is what brought forth the falling of Adam and the falling of us today. That's why he made a commandment clear because it, it's, it is, is the root of the cause of our fall. Straight up. Can't get around that. It is the root. That divination, um, which represents 14 enchantments, these are the worshipping of other, uh, other idols via trying to gain their power, trying to receive their wisdom. So let me continue. It says, um, until before I, I, I continue. And that is, I had to say it like this. There's your apple. Right there. Which we just explained. If you want to verbatimly read the scripture and say, as an actual apple in error, there is your apple right there. That doctrine, that doctrine on the left hand side of Esau, Edom. Same spirit. That serpent, same spirit as in Revelation. That's Esau, Edom. Hmm. Understand? So, I want to even, um, so, that wisdom of witchcraft and divination and that doctrine that was taught to Eve, that is your apple. That is what she partaked in. That is what she ate. It's like how Ezekiel ate the book, which is not is a, is a parabolic term. It, there's parables, there's dark scenes, there's metaphors. These are part of the scriptures. To, in order for you to get the answer, you have to travel, you have to go into the scriptures more and more. So that is your apple right there. So let's continue when it says in verse 4, and the serpent said, see, the serpent, that, 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 that warlock of a person, Esau, Edom, <laughs> said unto the woman, ye shall not surely die, which is a big flecking lie. A big lie. But let's continue. It says, for the most high doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open and ye shall um, be as gods, knowing good and evil. And you see, how, this is how this, the serpent will mislead us because you realize the wisdom was already given unto Adam and uh, Adam, which was passed down to Eve and the children. So you should, I mean, on this point dealing with Eve, so you should already see the understanding with it. If that wisdom was, was the breath of life was given unto Adam, wouldn't they not know that they are the gods of the earth at the point in time? See how, the, see how slick 
and nasty this flicking serpent is. That is why when they go into um, Psalm chapter 82, which we did as well, it says this, and 82 and verse 6 and 7, And I have said, Ye are gods, and all of you are the children of the Most High, but ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. See? And that's exactly what happened. Eve transgressed, she was deceived, she transgressed, she led Adam to transgress, and guess what? With that fallen state, a seed, seed would have come out of it, would have also been in a fallen state. Equaling eventual but imminent death. Carry on from that. Carry on from that. That is the truth. That is the truth. That is the cold, harsh truth that people don't like to swallow. They don't like that pill. They don't like that pill. Understand? Because that, that crafty serpent knows nothing about he error not knowing the scriptures it was not given unto unto them to know that it was only given to adam you understand and that tree of good and evil let me grab at one time that represents that is um when you go into sirach chapter 19 and 19 i'm glad um well i mean i didn't get to finish bringing it out i had to do a part two to the lesson which i was going to bring this out but regardless of what i'll still do it um, Ecclesiastes chapter 19 and 19, it says this, it says, The knowledge of the commandments of Yahweh is the doctrine of life. See that? You see? The tree of life. That tree of life represents the wisdom of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. The keeping of his commandments, scriptures say what? Fear, the fear of Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom and, and a good understanding of all that do his commandments, his praises, endure it forever. Forever. That wisdom that was given, that breath of life, that was the, that was the, uh, the, the truth that was given unto, the, unto man. That would have given that authority to what? Be rulers, to be judges of the earth. Because what the scriptures say, what well, I'm um, roughly paraphrasing, did the Bible teach her to be a, 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 a to be a real man? But you know you have the left hand side people misleading our people, as we see today, still happening, which is a very good example from the beginning, which shows the trickle down effect when you think about it. As it as it I was in the beginning, so it shall be in the end, roughly paraphrasing. If that is even a, a precept, I just said out of my own. I want to make sure I get that. I don't want to break. I don't want to misinterpret the scriptures. Let me see. Let me get pause. Let me pause. All right, I get two. It says, um, "So shall it be in the end." It, uh, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. But it also have the "So shall it be in the end of the world." The angels shall come forth and and sever the wicked from among the just, which deals with what going to what sifting when in most chapter. I know we go off topic, but let me grab it first before you go in back into the lesson. So lack like, after that. It is happened. In most nine and nine I, I believe where it says for uh, for lo I will command I will command and I will sift the house of Israel from among all the nations like as corn is sifted um in a sieve um yet shall not Yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. So you see, that is a um, very good example of what we're going to. But let me go back into the lesson, uh, you know, just to make sure that we have to prove all things regardless and who fast that, which is good. I don't want to say the wrong thing or I don't take away to the scriptures. So I had to make sure and get a little precept to that regardless. Let's continue. Um, so going back into it. So the tree of good and evil in the midst of the garden was talking about other the other people which were following their own ways which i would say which were given from the power on the left hand side they were literally learning of, of these evil things and what the scriptures say about that when they go into proverbs chapter 14 and verse 12 it says straight to the okay i'm gonna i'm gonna take this off straight to the point and verse 12 it says 
there is there is a way which seemeth right unto a man. It says, but the end thereof are the ways of death. And that's all they know to bring forth to themselves and to our people, the way of death. So that they're leading on to their own understanding and doing their own thing. Of course, not, not given the breadth and the, of life, or the breadth of the power of the Most High at the point in time that misled Eve. That is what that the, the tree in the midst of the garden is talking about. So when you, when you get the understanding, let me go back and read. It says, with understanding, it says, Now that person that practiced witchcraft among the other nations of the, um, of the earth, right? It says, um, which the Most High had made, you understand? I'm said unto the woman, I just want to read it um, as a man after the understanding, right? Said unto the woman, um, ye had the, had the, our powers um, said ye shall not eat of the tree of the garden, which was, shall not learn our ways of life. Because the scripture tells you, learn not the way of the heathens. In multiple precepts. You understand? So, and the scripture constantly telling it, telling it because that is, that is only leading to what? Idolatry. It goes back into leading you into idolatry. So let me read it again. Had the Most High had said, ye shall not partake of our ways or of our custom or learn our ways of life. And the woman said to the man, of the other nation, Esau, Edom, if, um, to, put, to, be, um, to be in understanding, we may eat of the fruit of the trees, or we may, we may learn from our power, right? It says, but we may eat, let me read, it says, um, I know I'm, I'm making it sound real, it's sound real messed up, messy here, but it is what it is. Who had the understanding can receive it? It says, it says, um, the most I said, ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And we see it happen today. Now we, we, our lifespan went from that amount to 120 and from and even broke down even worse. Now people today could barely even live, live 60, 60 years, 70 years before they perish. Showing that what it, everything is waxing worse and worse. The, we, our lifespan has cut down. So we surely... Know that we have an end after this life and until our next life continues and so on and so forth. Then we wouldn't even know that that existed because we were what? Diligently seeking Yahabashim Shai through his commandments that was given unto us verbally. It was taught to us. So, I'll read for and says the serpent, or we read that already. And Good of evil, a good and evil. I think that's supposed to be the close off um, point there. But to kind of read it again, I just crack my back. It says, and, um, and ye shall be gods as knowing good and evil, which we went into. And this is, and this is the fall of our people from God into what? Lowly men. Right? And that is what caused that is what caused that the transgression of Eve, which in Eve, in First Timothy chapter two and verse thirteen. Let's see. Verse fourteen. Well, let me read from thirteen. It says, And Adam was first formed, and then Eve. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being um woman being deceived was in the transgression. Understand? She was in that transgression. And she what? She led to, to the to the deception to, to, to Adam. Um, disobedience or is it fallen? Because when they go into Second Esdras chapter, before close up from here, chapter three, south, we just had to read a little lower down. It says six, five, six, and seven. It says, Thou leadest him into paradise which thy right hand had planted before ever the earth came forward. And verse 7, and unto him thou gavest commandment to love thy ways, which he um, transgressed, 
and immediately thou appointedest death in him and in his generations of whom came nations, tribes, and peoples, and kindreds out of number. So you see? Because that led him to transgress, guess what happened? Everyone was immediately appointed dead unto them. Right? So as we live, we still have to die. Of course, on this side, when Yahweh Shai comes, those that are of the elect wouldn't have to worry about that. You see? That is a good thing about it. We would not have to face that death. But look forward unto what? Everlasting life. You understand? Look forward to the destruction of Esau Edom after their captivity. Look forward to us going back into our homelands. There's something to be excited about. What do you mean? I fell for this place. I want to go home, boy. <laughs> what do you think this is, boy? I want to go home. Hey, boy. Hey, anyways. Um, so I hope this concludes the, uh, this concludes the lesson. Do I did it on a live? I hope this was even more understanding. Right? So that 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 apple is not talking about a literal apple, right? It's talking about that, it's talking about um learning or receiving that wisdom of the left hand side, that 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 corrupted doctrine from the trees, which are the other nation that was that uh, that that was given to Eve that she taught. That she ate of that that false doctrine that she was deceived by, that 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 further led to Adam falling and lead and leading to us as a people also in a fallen state. That is what he's talking about. So, if you want to get the understanding, it's best to go into your words. It's better really to It's better seek that guidance and counsel from the true men of Yahweh Hashem as the scriptures say. I believe. If I, could, if I could remember it, shucks. Ecclesiasticus 23. No, 25. So, so like, yeah. No, is it? 51, 23. Yeah, 51, 23. It says, Draw near unto me, ye unlearned, and dwell in the house of learning. That's what the house of learning is for. Which is given, which Yahweh give apostles, teachers, and preachers, and, 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 and um, elders to, to bring forward that 100% truth, that wise counsel. So it's better to look for that. You could, if, if you don't have the, the spirit of this element, if the Most High doesn't direct you to that, uh, there's nothing you can do for that. And if he doesn't give you that understanding to receive this truth, there's also nothing that you can do for that. That is the truth. So, again, um, Barak Shabbat. I forget the next one he would, um, what should be to us in. Uh, something Shabbat. But Barak Shabbat to um, the children of Yasharala, the Akims and the Akwas that has been diligently seeking this truth as well. And diligently seeking Yahweh at the end of the day. And we give our honor, our glory, and our praises to Yahweh, Sokal, Halaliam, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakodash. We give our honor to the apostles and prophets and elders of GMS Camp, but know as great mercy for the bring for the 100% truth that we're currently edified under. I am your boy, I am your brother, Kazak, Yasharala, same to y'all, Barak Shabbat, Shalom. <laughs>